versus Palu. Not a shocker. Um, and yeah, so Numbers pretty much has consistently been playing almost solely Wii Fit. A little bit of Sword Fighter mixed in every once in a while. Against Sinji, I know he tries to go Sword Fighter. Um, he breathe. Oh, that was almost a spike. He almost died. <laughs> that was wonderful. Thank you, Devin. Yes. Um, but yes, so Numbers, I feel as though, has not really beaten any of like the super good Palutena's yet with the Wii Fit Trainer. I feel like Frozen kind of has his number still. I feel as though uh, Jen has his number as well. Uh, being that Jen and Frozen like place top 3-4 every week, Jen top 2, Frozen top 4. Uh, yeah, I feel like Numbers hasn't been able to kind of crack that egg open just yet. I feel like uh, the record yeah, he's still strongly on it. in their favor. However, stock lead for Numbers, and we know that Numbers can be pretty scared to play. Oh, let's go. He missed it though. Somehow his, his F tilt missed, and he is tight. Numbers is tight because his F tilt missed, even though he ducked the Palu grab. Oh, that's RNG, I think, by the way. Whether Palu what? can grab uh, Wii Fit Trainer's uh, crouch, I think. Numbers was saying something. Well, like I mean. Numbers was saying something like that. Like, it's not going to be actual RNG, but it's like yeah. an effective RNG because, like, she starts doing push ups and. Yeah. Do you know what this reminds me of? What? ZSS Wii Fit in Smash 4. Oh, yeah. This is the same problem in, like. Well, like you had this on uh, on Palu and Smash 4 too. Like that's the funny thing. Palu's weaknesses, like in terms of like some of her hitboxes, kind of the same since Smash 4. Yeah, like I mean, short characters her, her can moves, give her trouble. Like she only had one move change, right? Two move change technically. Um, in um. Yeah, her reflect counter. Reflect, reflect counter and her side B. And she got yeah. What what was it? It was before? the reflect before. Remember? Like, really? Oh, yeah. she literally just moved reflect to a combo move, and then it was just like that. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so. Numbers, though. Uh, playing his ledge game as per usual. Um, I was looking for Bear out of block there. I think it would have been able to punish. Uh, just a little bit too slow, maybe. Numbers couldn't react. Um, uh, up air. Down throw. The DI was uh, good by numbers. However, Jen almost ready for that air dodge, waited for it. Knowing the response that would be. Uh, fair into F Smash. Numbers uh, takes it as a yoke, and uh, he's like, okay, I got hit. Oh, swell. Lots of nares into back air. 38% onto Palutena. Numbers fades out. Back to ledge. Um, however, Jen ready for that and ops to down tilt. Numbers right back over there. Back air is going to take a stock. That is the sweet spot of that move, and it is frame five. It is a damn fast move and a damn strong one as well. And Numbers, while not taking full advantage of deep breathing, I feel, I feel this game, um, maybe has not felt like as though he has had time to get the deep breathing out. Um, uh, has still done really solid taking stocks, not too late, which we feel can struggle with at times if he does not have the deep breathing out. Oh, nice. I felt mash on this man, Numbies. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is a Numbies classic. Big again. Numbies comeback time. Again to that part where you can just get really uh, strong. You're okay, okay, he air dodges like a dummy. Oh, wait. No, he's fine. Still still a dummy uh, reaction. Goodbye. Uh, it's a, it is a 50-50 in Numbers defense, but I think he could have lived that. I think if he hit because he, he had that like, badly. If you clip that for me, Devin, the what? side B, the take that stock, um, I feel like he could have lived that. The last kill? Yeah. Because he did, he did that really poorly. So, folks, for those who don't know, uh, Palutena's side B always sends in the direction that Palutena is facing. So He number, went straight up, yeah. Yeah, so... If you, he had held out. If you, if you hold out, you always hold out versus Explosive Flame. It doesn't matter what side of the Explosive Flame you are on, you always hold out. Uh, he probably could live that. Yeah. PSA, though. Don't let Palutena get away with garbage. Jen literally clicked fair at least seven or eight times in a row there. I love that. He has literally clicked just fair. Oh, okay. Trade for numbers there. Uh, advantageous for him. Dash attack going to be able to put numbers in the air. Reef Trainer does have struggle getting back to the ground, being as floaty of a character as she is. One of those characters that if you air dodge, you feel like you are in that uh, weight to get out of it for a hot sec. Nice. Whole lot of shield damage by numbers. Fair, onto the platform, nice punish. Looking for upsides that is invincible for a couple frames. Uh, 
Off air, almost a fake stock. That is a strong move. Deep breathing back online. F throw, not gonna be enough to speed yet, but it's gonna be pretty darn close at the ledge here in just a moment. That stack is enough though. That is a buff that actually does kill without deep breathing. However, with deep breathing, gonna be able to kill very, very early. Nice by numbers, running through with the up tilt, going to get a combo off of that. Puts Jen back at ledge, has done a super solid job this game of keeping himself in advantage. It's 73% off to Jen now. Numbers, and keep in mind, uh, a really valuable trait that Weak Chinner has is that she has incredible mobility. So, uh, with that, Numbers is going to be able to kind of keep up the pace that Jen sets um, with that uh, run speed that he has. And that is going to be a stock. Numbers basically took no damage that entire stock. That is going to be a essential zero to death with the healing that he just got all. Nice on the spot that read. Does Jen get that up smash? Almost takes the stock. Um, however, numbers tacking on this little bit of extra percentage. I'm sure Jen thinking, all right, let's get this to game three. It's fine. No jump. Oh, almost caught that. Did numbers. Back air still not enough. Weaving Chainer. Nice mid wing. S smash on the missed dash attack. Um, and uh, yeah, this is looking Dunskis, Bunskis. Numbers going for a whole lot of. Uh, Crouches and it's kind of forcing Jenny to go into block and just like wait a little bit. Not enough just yet, even with the deep breathing. Oh, that soccer ball angle was sick! But Numbies almost dies for it. Oh, Numbies with the schmix. That was a schmixy little uh, movement there by John Numbers. Oh, what up with not a film yet? All right, there's enough. Um, 150 though for. Um Mr. Uh, Jen, and I think up throw is going to be killing here. That's hilarious. Um, Jen is at 204%. What did he think was going to happen? I don't know. That he gets sent sideways by the soccer ball, and neutral beat will be enough. And that's going to be a uh, stock for numbers and a game for numbers. A pretty dominant game, might I add. A two stock with 14%. And um, yeah, Jen, we have to see some adaptation. Um, is this winner's quarters, by the way, Devin? Yes. It is. Yes, it is. All right. So, we'll see if Numbies can come in with that uh, weaker trainer. Take his first win over one of the big Palutena's. Um, and, yeah. Uh, let's see if we can get this down. The same stage. So, in all honesty, it's going to come down to Jen's adaptation to this weaker trainer. And as uh, a Palutena can and should do versus... Um, we have a trainer. You have to keep her in a disadvantage for a really long time. This character has a really poor disadvantage state. Um, kind of tough uh, once you are off the stage to get back. Numbers, obviously, incredible mixing that up. Oh, triple fair from John Numbers. Replicating uh, as Jen was doing earlier in game number two. Uh, let's see, however, if um, Jen can make a reverse of the situation. And Jen gives him a triple fair of his own to respond to number triple fair. Just back to ledge. Get up attack, looking for Jen to dash in. Does not end up getting it. Nice dash attack off ledge by numbers. Immediate dash attack. Puts him in a situation where he can now ledge trap um, Jen. And he is at a point where he is very darn close to taking this stock with Weaker Chainer with the uh, deep breathing. That clanked. <laughs> Goodness, why did that clank? <laughs> and fair is enough. Numbers of a full stock. Uh, 75%. Uh, looking pretty good. Palatine and not going to be able to come just yet. Down throw. Oh, Schmix. That is a Smash 4 setup for those who do not know. Nubby showed me that in Smash 4, and he's like, this is the Schmix. Okay. Uh, this is pretty big. Okay, s going to be enough. Nubby's not super happy with how he landed Bridger there. But, wings. But 58% can't be too upset about that extra amount of credit. Deep breathing. You are at 89%. You are at 100%. Can you get back to the stage? He can. And he's going to nair him for 30. 40 because he's gonna get him on the platform. Oh no, it drops. Never mind. <laughs> Here he goes. One more time with the Nair. Yes, shield poke, baby. He's gotta angle that shield down, Numbies. Oh? Numbers is not happy. He is tight. He's speaking words. Oh, looking for Deets to the ledge. Hoping that Jen will hold a little bit longer. Sour spot on fair. Not gonna be able to hit the yet. And we are looking for a roll. Numbers does not get the punish. There, not a full charge stun though, not gonna be able to take the stock, but soccer ball almost enough. Deep breathing, gets it in time. Huge for numbers, F gonna be enough, that's gonna be a stock.
and basically identical situation to what we saw last talk. Numbers around 75%. Watching numbers like run away, that <laughs> moment was really funny because yeah. she, she did ask on to a, a whole ass jog. No, she do. She's yeah. fast. She's like 20, like third or fourth. No, she's like Kaioken. She's like, she's dipping. Let's talk about that good trade for numbers. 37% once again. Cannot be too upset at the extra credit that he has been getting. 115 could potentially be death soon. Nice. Runs back, knowing the S-Match is going to be coming out from, from a gen that he has shown earlier uh, on the times that numbers has crouched. Uh, Invincible last attack, not going to be playing from there. Oh, bear, and that is a huge amount of damage for numbers. S-Slash almost would have taken the stock, certainly, if it had hit. Doesn't end up getting it, though. <laughs> Den's like, yeah, you're going to crowd, stupid. However, um, up 73% is uh, John Schnumbers right now. However, this is... Uh, Chump chains for Palutena, she can get 40% off of one Nair string. However, 88% currently for John Numbers. Up air, almost enough. 114. Nair string, baby. There's going to be a nice 40% for Jen. 44. Oh my god. Get to the floor, Numbies. If Numbers doesn't land, his fist is going in the wall. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jen has won uh. one. Oh, that's it. Numbers takes Jeez. it over Jen. First Numbers is time. not happy about that no, at all. No, he's tight. He's like, I almost died. <laughs> Numbers is definitely like, I almost died. But then I think it's his first win over Jen in Ultimate. Yeah. Or at least the first one in a very long time. Um, well, at least the first time over Palu. That's definitely for sure. Uh, but that was really good. Game two was like a super solid adaptation. For yeah, Numbers. he almost three stocked him. He almost three stocked him game two. Let's not kid ourselves. That was a handily uh, taken by Numbers. And